Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. So as you all know, I am so busy traveling and oddly enough, this has been the most successful I have felt during Vlogmas, but also one of the busiest and most trying Vlogmas ever as far as work because I'm working and traveling more than I've ever done during a Vlogmas. Typically you guys know I have two weeks off during Vlogmas where I am able to like really give it my all. But oddly enough, I feel like I'm giving it my all more this year and I feel more satisfied. And you guys are feeling the same way. So tomorrow is going to be a really hard day. It's still actually day 13. However, I am up. I'm gonna film a Christmas tag video today answering some Christmassy questions because I know I have a late flight home. I need this off my to-do list so that I can be my very best because I have to get home late, do laundry, pack for the weekend, go to work, and then catch a flight and meet Steven in Salt Lake City. I know the lighting is less than desirable. The hotel rooms are dark, but we're gonna make this work. We are going to do a Christmas tag, and I am super excited for it. So, use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. I can't think of a sound I would make, but the first sound that comes to mind that gets me excited for Christmas would be... It is something about sleigh bells and the clink of them and just the sound of them that gets me so excited, but like, that would be my Christmas sound embodied into one effect. What is the best present you've ever received? It's going to be a Dolly Parton reference. So Stephen went and bought me a vintage Dolly Parton album and he was in our basement going through a couple things and he found a letter that my grandmother wrote to me probably the week or the second week after I moved to Charlotte, North Carolina on my own, and he put the letter inside the record. Dolly Parton is something super special to me and my grandmother's memory, and adding the letter, which I had not forgotten about but hadn't read in a long time, was probably one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. What is one of the worst presents you've ever received? It's also from Stephen. And it was such a bad present that is now become a yearly tradition. I wonder if some of you know what it is. If you do, put your comment in now before I answer. Unstoppables, like laundry unstoppables. He got me them one year because he didn't know what to do. And I've gotten them every year since, but one of the worst, but now one of the best presents I've ever gotten. As a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished was for you? Yes. My sister, and if I can find a photo, I'll link it in here, got these handheld keyboards one year. Like you held like a keyboard in each hand and like played it. And I was so jealous and I wanted it because I think ultimately I wanted to be like Tiffany and sing I think we're alone now and play those keyboards with a blue sweater on. If you get it, my Tiffany reference, then you are my people. Sing a line from your favorite Christmas song and this will be our Dolly song of the day as well. Um, but I think one of my favorites would be, you make this a Christmas to remember Springtime feelings in the middle of December Strangers meet and willingly surrender Oh wow, oh, what a Christmas to remember I could sing the whole thing. Almost went to Aspen, but something told me no I considered Mammoth 
but there wasn't enough snow. Again, my sister and I were just texting about A Christmas to Remember with Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. It was like on a VHS tape from my grandmother that I think I wore out because I played it so many times. You can still find the whole movie special on YouTube and I watch it every year. Rename a reindeer. <laughs> and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. Stressor. <laughs> oh, if I was a reindeer, that's what I would be called. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? I think it is just the way things feel that morning when you wake up. It just... I don't think I can name one thing that I love about Christmas. I think it's the feeling that it like embodies. There's something about waking up on that Christmas morning and something different about when you light the tree and make breakfast for your loved ones. It just feels special. And that's my favorite part of Christmas. It's that feeling. You can't explain it. I love Christmas so much. This is coming from the guy in candy cane pajamas. When do you start getting excited for Christmas? January 1st like I've already planned next year's theme um, but I would say like when do I start getting excited it is like mid-October where I can like hardly contain myself to not like just decorate all the things do you use advent calendars is that really a question share a funny Christmas memory <laughs> all right I have a funny Christmas memory we it involves my sister so in my sister's stocking one year, my mom put one of those chocolate oranges. I don't know if you remember them. I think they still make them where you would like smack it on the table and it would break into like the sections of an orange. <laughs> For some reason, my sister <laughs> took that chocolate orange and smacked it up against a drywall wall in our house and <laughs> she put a dent in the wall from trying to break the chocolate orange open. <laughs> and everyone just kind of sat around and was like, it was such a funny moment. Recite your favorite line from a Christmas movie. I'm not gonna get it completely right, but it is from um, White Christmas and he says something like, um, if you're happy for the wrong reasons, then it's just the same as being like miserable and unhappy, except it's way worse. And that is a line that has always stuck with me. I don't think I quoted it correctly, but it's something to that summation. And also a great quote to live by. Think about it. If you are happy for the wrong reasons, then you might as well be miserable or unhappy because it's worse. Whew, that's deep. Talk us through a typical Christmas day. Well, it differs because Stephen sometimes, Stephen and I have sometimes traveled, um, or we have my family with me, or I went to my sister last year, but I think a typical Christmas day would be Stephen and I, and I would wake up before him because I do every day um, and I would just sit quietly I'd probably read a little bit I'd light a candle I would go around and light all the lights in the house and um, probably just read and relax and then Stephen will get up around 7 38 so at that point I would be making us breakfast and making us our coffee and we would sit and eat breakfast and then we would open the gifts that we so thoughtfully got for each other and open the gifts with the dogs and then we would just hang out in the house and spend time together and then typically I would start making dinner and his family would drive from Buffalo and join us for dinner and that would kind of be our Christmas and if my mom was there it would be essentially the same thing except they would open gifts and my mom would help me cook as everyone was coming over for dinner. Do you have any Christmas traditions? I wish I could say we did. Um, I think Vlogmas has become a Christmas tradition. I know it's become one of yours, but I don't necessarily think I have a tradition or Stephen and I have built a tradition that we would always do. Real or fake tree? 
I am a fake tree person, but it is not because I don't want a real tree. But the way that I decorate a tree, I need to be able to like manipulate the branches and make them do what I need them to do for my decorating purposes. So I am a fake tree all the way, but maybe one year I'll surprise you and do a real one. Pictures of Santa, yay or nay? I don't have any pictures of Santa. I don't remember ever going and having my picture with Santa. I'll have to ask my mom, what is your Christmas wish for this year? My Christmas wish for this year is that the next year holds adventures that we've never imagined, successes that we've never could have expected, and happiness beyond measure with ourselves, with each other. Um, I just want us all to do our best and feel our best. This has been a fun little tag. This is how we are making day 14 work for life. I know the light went in and out this whole video because I am trying to make it work, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and this allows me to really focus on getting all the things done I need to tomorrow. I love you all. You mean the world to me. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow.